Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. And we're going to have a lesson today on uh, topographical maps. If you understand contour lines, uh, this uh, video is going to be a breeze. If you don't understand contour lines on topographical maps, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to a video I've done on how to understand those and how to interpret topographical maps. And you need to go watch that first so you can understand what I'm talking about here. But if you understand topographical maps, you're going to look at this and you're going to say, there's a hill or a mountain, and the peak of it is about right here. And let's say you want to approach it from this direction. You're going to have a nice, gentle uphill climb. You're going to reach the peak of this hill or the mountain, and then you're going to have a rather steep descent as you continue on on a straight line. But what happens if this is not a mountain, but actually a volcano, where this is the crater to the volcano? And down here in the bottom of the crater, that is actually lower than the surrounding area. How do you denote that on a topographical map and make it understandable to somebody reading the map? It's very simple. You use what's called hachure lines, or sometimes called depression lines or depression marks. And those are these little tick marks here on the contour lines that you see on, on occasion on a topographical map. That means you're no longer going uphill in this direction, you're going downhill. So you'll be coming up, take the same path, you'll be coming up your nice gradual climb, then you'll reach the rim of the crater, and hopefully this is an inactive volcano, because you definitely don't want to go down into it while it's active. But you cross over the rim of the crater and descend down into the bottom of the crater, reach the bottom, and then come back up to the rim, and then continue down the opposite side of the volcano. Very important to note that this does not denote the rim of the crater. Your uphill climb will not stop here, and this is the transition into descent. This contour line is the same elevation above sea level as this one. So the rim of the crater is going to be somewhere in here. Conversely, this contour line is the same elevation as this one, and this one is is the same elevation as this one. So the elevation here in the center is going to be no lower than somewhere just inside this contour line. So you come up the hill, or the, up the side of the volcano, reach the rim of the crater, come down into the bottom, reach the bottom of the crater, make an ascent on the opposite side, reach the opposite rim, and then go down the opposite side of the volcano. These tick marks simply indicate a reversal of the terrain. Now, suppose when this volcano was active, as it was dying, it pushed up a lava dome here in the center. So in the bottom of this crater, this, as this crater comes down, there is a dome of material, whether it's rock or earth material or something like that. This is what it would look like on a topographical map. So again, you will come up the side of the volcano, cross the rim of the crater somewhere in here, descend, and then somewhere in here you'll reach like you're crossing a dry riverbed, or maybe there could be water there, I don't know. And then you will ascend again the top of this dome, descend again to the opposite side of this uh, lowest part of the crater, ascend the opposite side of the crater, and then descend the opposite side of the volcano. And again, this line will be the same elevation as this line, which will be the same elevation as this line back here. This line and this line are the same elevation, this line and this line are the same elevation, and as is this line. So hopefully that helps you understand these, uh, inter these uh, interesting little tick marks, if you have seen them on a topographical map, you will know what they mean. If you don't know, if you've never seen them on a topographical map, this way, hopefully, you'll know what you're looking at in that you were looking at a depression as opposed to the top of a mountain. And this is good to know because a classic uh, example of this would be Meteor Crater in Arizona, and I'll put a link to that a uh, topographical map that you can actually look at in the description below, but here's a picture of the uh, topographical map of Meteor Crater, and you can see all those depression marks or depression lines 
on that map. That way you know you're looking at a depression, in this case meteor crater, as opposed to something, some feature that is coming up out of the existing landscape like Devil's Tower, which looks like this on a topographical map. It does not have those depression lines. So now that you know what these depression lines or depression marks or Hashur marks are, you can be better enabled to understand your topographical maps. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be safe out there and I'll see you out on the trail.